If a leader of a country chooses to intercept a merchant ship owned by another country to confiscate the money and the goods, he would have been called a pirate. But Muhammad attacked the caravans of the Meccan Quraysh and called it a conquest. Yet they said, he is the prophet and messenger of God. If a leader of a country chooses to take the best of women in the country he conquered to have sex with them, it would have been said he is lustful and a womanizer. But Muhammad took the best girls of the Jewish tribes that he conquered by the sword for himself. Like Safiya bint Huyay and Rihanna bint Shamoun, and he considered these girls to be spoils of war yet they said he is the prophet and messenger of God if a leader of a country launched 27 wars and 56 combat missions in just eight years only he would have been called a warlord and bloodthirsty but Muhammad launched 27 conquests and 56 combat missions in the span of eight years yet they said he is the messenger of Allah if the leader of a country has sex with a nine-year-old and he is an elderly man it would have been said he is a child molester and a pedophile but Muhammad married Aisha when she was six years old and had sexual intercourse with her at the age of nine and he was as old as her grandfather but they said he is truly the messenger of Allah if a leader of any country forged laws for his people but placed himself above those laws it would have been said that he is nothing but a dictator muhammad allowed his companions to have four wives however he himself violated those laws and placed himself above those laws and married more than 11 wives yet they said he is truly the messenger of Allah if a leader of a country killed his opposers just because they criticized him or opposed him it would have been said he is nothing but a tyrant but Muhammad killed everyone that opposed him under the excuse that they are fighting Allah and his messenger like Kab bin al ashraf or um qirfa yet they said he is the messenger of allah if a leader of a country killed anyone who abandoned his group under the excuse of treason it would have been said this is a mafia leader or kingpin but muhammad ordered the apostates to be killed when he said whoever changes his religion kill him yet they said he is the messenger of Allah if a leader of a country killed any minority group or tribe or forced them to leave their lands just because they are followers of a different religion he would have been called a war criminal but Muhammad killed the Jews of Bani Quraida and expelled the Jews of Bani Nadir and ordered all the Jews and Christians to be expelled from the Arabic Peninsula so that only Muslims remained yet they said he is the messenger of Allah if a leader of a country says that he has been commanded to fight the people until they become subjects to his authority else their blood is halal i.e 
they are allowed to be killed, he would have been called a madman. But Muhammad said, I have been ordered to fight the people until they testify. There is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. And if they said it, their blood and property are guaranteed and under my protection. So he actually declared war on the whole world until it is subjugated and conquered by Islam. Yet they said he is the messenger of Allah. I wonder why are people so afraid today to call this man a criminal like they did with other leaders in the past? Is it just because he created a religion so we have to overlook his crimes? Why is Muhammad being judged differently than any tyrant or any war criminal? Why this political correctness? Could it be fear that Islamic countries might cut off the oil? And especially in this case Saudi Arabia. Or are they in fear that the followers of this so-called prophet will rise against them? Are truth and justice subjugated to political correctness and violence now? But justice and the truth are mightier than any money or any violence. If Muhammad is truly the messenger of God, then Hitler, Gaddafi, Saddam Hussein and Mussolini should also be called the greatest messengers sent by God Almighty. Either we condemn them all or recognize them as messengers of God and send peace and blessings upon all of them. Thank you for watching and God bless.